Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another interesting radical equation challenge. It is the square root of x minus 1 times x minus 4 over 10 equal to 3x over x plus 2. x belongs to real number. So let's get started by writing domain first. Denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be minus 2. This is one point. Second point, radicand should be positive. This value must be positive. Right hand side, it must be positive. So let's find out the interval where we will define our x value for real solution. So first condition would be x minus 1 times x minus 4, it should be positive. I will draw again one number line, x minus 1, x minus 4. Here I will write 1, 4. Once x is greater than 1, x minus 1 will be positive. Once x is greater than 4, x minus 4 will be positive. Now check where this product will be positive. Here only. In this interval and in this interval. So conclusion is x either should be less than 1 or should be greater than 4. Means x should not lie in between 1 and 4. In this interval, it is not defined. Now let's consider the second equation. So second equation I will write from RHS x over x plus 2. This should be positive. So again I will draw a number line x, x plus 2. So I need to write critical points minus 2 and 0. Once x is greater than 0, x will be positive. Before that negative. Once x is greater than minus 2, x plus 2 will be positive. Before that it would be negative. So you can see once numerator denominator both are having same sign, we will get plus positive. So conclusion is x should be either less than minus 2 or x should be greater than 0. So conclusion in other words, x should not lie in between minus 2 and 0. So I will write our domain x belongs to all real except two conditions x should lie in between 1 and 4. This is rejected actually because I am using minus sign. And second condition would be x should lie in between minus 2 and 0. So these two intervals are exempted. Otherwise all real values are our solution. So let me find out all the solutions of the given radical equation. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write is squaring both sides. Once I will square both sides, it will become x minus 1 times x minus 4 over 10 equal to, I will write directly 9x square over x plus 2 whole square. Now let's cross multiply written terms. So I will write x minus 1 times x minus 4 times x plus 2 whole square equal to 10 times 9 90 x square. Let's expand x minus 1 and x minus 4 first. These two brackets. So I will consider x square x times x is x square minus 4x minus x minus 5x plus 4. Now let's use the formula of a plus b whole square. So I will write here x square plus 4x plus 4. And right hand side I will write 90x square as it is. Now I will write our equation in this manner. x square plus 4 minus 5x. And second bracket I will write in the same way x square plus 4 plus 4x equal to 90x square. Now you can see x plus 4, x plus 4. So I will consider this as a whole term, one term only. So I can write our equation x plus 4 whole square, x plus x square plus 4 times x square plus 4, x square plus 4 whole square. Now x square plus 4 times 4x and then take away x square plus 4 minus times 5x. So that would be come out x times x square plus 4. 
minus 5x times 4x minus 20x square. Right hand side will write 90x square as it is. Take all the term to one side. x square plus 4 whole square minus x x square plus 4 minus 110x square equal to 0. Now I will frame one quadratic equation in x square plus 4. Let me demonstrate. It is x square plus 4 whole square minus x times x square plus 4 and then it is having minus 110x square equal to 0. Now we can consider the second term. See it is, let me show this is b, this term is c and here nothing is written that means 1 is there so a. That means I am going to apply the quadratic equation formula and consideration is x square plus 4 is our solution. That means this equation is quadratic in x square plus 4. So x square plus 4 equal to minus b. So minus of minus x, x plus minus under the root b square. So minus x square, x square minus 4ac. a is 1, c is minus 110 x square. So I will write plus 440x square divided by 2a so 2. If you will write then this will become x plus minus square root 441 x square over 2. So if I will calculate square root 441 it is 21. So I will be writing plus minus 21 square root x square is x divided by 2. So it is x plus 21 x 22 x over 2 11 x x minus 21 x minus 20 x over 2 minus 10 x. Left hand side is x square plus 4. So from here we will frame two quadratic equations. From there we will find out our solution and we will reject from the exempted list if solution are lying in that list. So let me write x square plus 4 equal to 11 x or x square minus 11 x plus 4 equal to 0. First quadratic equation and second quadratic equation x square plus 4 equal to minus 10 x from this solution. I will write x square plus 10 x plus 4 equal to 0. Two quadratic equation we will find out four solutions. Let me begin with here x square minus 11x plus 4 equal to 0 and second equation x square plus 10x plus 4 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So I will write x is equal to minus b so 11 plus minus under the root b square 11 square is 1 to 1 minus 4ac minus 16 divided by 2a so 2. 11 plus minus 121 minus 16 105 divided by 2. Root 105 is 10.24 approximately 10.24 divided by 2. Once you will consider plus sign it will give us 10.21.24 over 2. So that value will be somewhere 10.62 and once you will take minus sign in between then we will get 0 0.38. Two solutions from first equation. Now second quadratic equation I will find out solutions. Now I will write minus 10 plus minus it is square root 84 which is 21 times 4 so I can write 2 root 21 over 2. Once we will divide, then we will write minus 5 plus minus root 21. Square root 21, if you will put the value, then we are having two solutions minus 0 0.42 and second solution I will get that is negative 5.5, Now we have to check from our exempted list. It was solution should not lie in between 
1 and 4 and should not lie in between 0 and minus 2. So check 0 and minus 2. So this solution we will reject. It is lying in between 0 and minus 2. Rest is satisfying the condition. Solution should not lie in between 1 and 4, 0 and minus 2. So all three remaining solutions are accepted. So let me write final time. So our ultimate solution of the given radical equation will be x is equal to 10.62. These values are approximately because I have taken only two digits after decimal. Second value was 0 0.38 and third value which I will write that is accepted 9.58 with negative sign. These are the solutions for the given radical equation. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.